Okay, <clears throat> retro tech time again. And this time we're looking at a very, very old dot matrix printer. Now this is an Epson LQ570+. Plus. I think these were made around about the mid-1990s, 1995, something like that. Um, and I don't know about anyone else out there, but I can remember a day when every printer everywhere was an Epson. <laughs> there was lots of different models of these. Um, I've never actually seen this this particular model before. Um, this is, I don't think this was particularly common, certainly not where I worked anyway. Um, this this one will take um, tractor feed or single sheets. Um, and as you can see, it's a, definitely could do with a bit of retro brighting. <laughs> so we'll well see the difference in the colour there. Um, but it's in very good condition, apart from the yellowing of the case. And uh, and it works. Uh, oh, you can also feed paper in from the front on this model, which is which is quite cool. Um, yeah, so, okay, uh, why is he buggering about <laughs> with a printer that's over 20 years old? Well, there's method in my madness. And the reason is the Smith Corona word processor. I've been playing around with this, and I think I said in the, in the video I did on it that I actually quite like this device. Um, and I was going through the print menus, and I discovered that, uh, apart from uh, Smith Corona Daisy Wheel Printer, which is the default one, which I think it would have come with, um, there are several other printers listed. I think there's about six in total. And one of them was this Epson LQ570. So I thought, well, let's see if we can find one of these printers. And the Smith Corona printers are, are very difficult to find. I couldn't find one of those anywhere. Um, the typewriters appear quite a lot, but they're not the printers. But I did manage to find the LQ570, and I thought, oh, well, it's got to be worth worth a shot. We'll see whether we can get the um, the two to work together. So, <clears throat> got the word processor connected to the printer, and the printer and the word processor are powered up. So we've got to select the appropriate printer, which is the Epson LQ570. Right. Power up, enter, go into the print menu, select print, uh, entire document, and there it goes. Look at that, isn't that amazing? And it works perfectly. It works straight out of the box. And there we go. That's what it has actually printed out. I'm not sure whether the camera can focus on that, but um, classic prisoner quote there. But uh, yeah, it works superbly. Um, I didn't have to change any of the settings. There are some um, dip switches under, under this little flap here, um, uh, which I think are uh, for various different um, uh, things to do with the carriage and the, and the paper feed and everything but uh, yeah it works um, so uh, yeah there you go some very ancient tech um, matched up together and still working perfectly so uh, probably use these two in the future and uh, may even use the the, the printer in in, um, in, so, in in other videos to do with old computers because it will obviously because it's obviously got a parallel port on it which a lot of these old computers had so uh, anyway there you go epson lq 570 working with the smith krona 8000 lt so i hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching